Lesson 2. Different markets for stocks and bonds. Before we proceed to our next lesson, let us recall some different terms about stocks. Definition of terms in relation to stocks. Stocks is the share in the ownership of a company. Dividend is the share in the company's profit. Dividend per share is the ratio of the dividends to the number of shares. Stock market is a place where stocks can be bought or sold. The stock market in the Philippines is governed by the Philippine Stock Exchange. Market value is the current price of a stock in which it can be sold. Stock yield ratio, the ratio of the annual dividend per share and the market value per share, also called current stock yield. Par value, the per share amount as stated on the company certificate. Unlike market value, it is determined by the company and remains stable over time. Stock valuation is considered to have a high value if the current stockholders get higher dividend at present and in the future. Otherwise, the stock is considered to have a low value. The computation of the stock value is necessary in order to know if the stock market value is cheap or expensive at a given time. Example 1. A certain financial institution declared a 30 million peso dividend for the common stocks. If there is a total of 700,000 shares of common stocks, how much is the dividend per share? Given the total dividend is 30 million pesos, the total shares is 700,000, let's find the dividend per share. For the solution, dividend per share is equal to total dividend divided by total shares. 30 million divided by 700,000 equals 42.86. Therefore, the dividend per share is 42 pesos and 86 centavos. Example 2. A certain corporation declared a 3% dividend on a stock with a par value of 500 pesos. Mrs. Lingan owns 200 shares of stocks with a par value of 500 pesos. How much is the dividend she received? Given dividend percentage is 3%, par value is 500 pesos, the number of share is 200. Solution. The dividend per share is 500 pesos multiplied by 0 0.03 equals 15 pesos. Since there are 300 shares, the total dividend is 15 pesos per share times 200 shares equals 3,000 pesos. In summary, dividend is equal to dividend percentage times par value times the number of shares equals 0 0.03 Multiply by 500, multiply by 200 equals 3,000. Thus, the dividend is 3,000 pesos. Example 3. Corporation A, with a current market value of 52 pesos, give a dividend of 8 pesos per share of its common stock. Corporation B, with a current market value of 95 pesos, give a dividend of 12 pesos per share. Use the stock yield ratio to measure how much dividends shareholders are getting in relation to the amount invested. Find the dividend. Solution. For the corporation A, dividend per share is 8 pesos. Market value is 52 pesos. Find the stock yield ratio. The stock yield ratio is equal to dividend per share divided by market value, which is 8 divided by 52, equals 0 0.1538 or 15.38%. For Corporation B, the dividend per share is 12 pesos, market value is 95 pesos, find the stock yield ratio. The stock yield ratio is equal to dividend per share divided by market value, which is 12 divided by 95, is equal to 0.1263, which is equal to 12.63%.
Corporation A has a higher stock yield ratio than Corporation B. Thus, each peso will earn you more if you invest in Corporation A than in Corporation B. If all other things are equal, then it is wiser to invest in Corporation A. Definition of terms in relation to bonds. Bond, interest-bearing security which promises to pay stated amount of money on the maturity date and regular interest payments called coupons. Coupon, periodic interest payment that the bondholder receives during the time between purchase date and maturity date, usually received semi-annually. Coupon rate, the rate per coupon payment period, denoted by R. The price of a bond, the price of the bond at the purchase time, denoted by P. Par value or face value is the amount payable on the maturity date, denoted by F. If P is equal to F, then the bond is purchased at par. If P is less than F, the bond is purchased at a discount. If P is greater than F, the bond is purchased at premium. Term of a bond, fixed period of time, expressed in years, at which the bond is redeemable as stated in the bond certificate. The number of years from the time of purchase to maturity date. Fair price of a bond, the present value of all cash inflows to the bond holder. Example 4. Determine the amount of the semi-annual coupon for a bond with a face value of 300,000 pesos that pays 10% Payable semi-annual for its coupon. Given the face value is 300 pesos, coupon rate is 10%, find the amount of semi-annually coupon. For the solution, annual coupon amount is 300,000 multiplied by 0.10 is equal to 30,000. Semi-annually coupon amount is 30,000 multiplied by one half is equal to 15,000. Thus, the amount of semi-annual coupon is 15,000 pesos. Example 5. Find the value of a 20,000 peso bond with interest of 14% compounded semi-annually, which is redeemable at 108% in 5 years that yields the purchaser 6% converted semi-annually. For the solution, Finding the purchase price of the bond requires us to determine first the coupon payment and the redemption value of the bond. Using the information given in the problem, substitute the values to the respective formulas. Thus, we have face value is 20,000 pesos, the bond rate is 0.14, the number of conversion period per year is 2, the term is 5 years, the yield rate is 0.06, the periodic bond rate is 0 0.07. The total number of conversion period is 10. And the periodic rate is 0 0.03. Substitute these values to compute the following. The, compu the coupon payment is 20,000 multiplied by 0 0.07 is 1,400 pesos. Redemption value is 20,000 multiplied by 1.08, which is equal to 21,600 pesos. And the purchase price is given by this formula. So substitute the following values to solve for the purchase price. The purchase price is 28,014 pesos and 71 centavos. Therefore, the investor who pays 20,014 pesos and 71 centavos is investing the money.